Our previous episode explored the Shaolin Staff, the ancient weapon that inspired not only martial artists, but also performers of contact staff and acro staff, two awe-inspiring practices that will leave you breathless. Contact staff is when you use not only your hands, but also your body to spin a staff. Acro staff is quite the opposite, where you use a staff to move yourself, flipping, twisting and rolling yourself through the air and even up along walls. But did you know that the Shaolin staff is also the foundation for another Zen weapon, the Shaolin shovel? Yes, you heard it right, a shovel. In fact, Max Brooks' Zombie Survival Guide recommends the Shaolin Spade as a highly effective weapon against zombies. It can be used for smacking zombies on the head. As you can see, it's not just fractured, it is cracked and there is blood pouring right out of this thing. Cutting open their skull, or even for decapitating zombies. It's like a baseball bat and a machete mixed, almost. I mean, you've got the bludgeoning uh, abilities like the baseball bat and you've kind of got this chopping blade here. And if it can take down the undead, it can definitely take down any opponent. Talking about hitting things, you should hit that like button like it owes you money. The Shaolin Spade is not your regular garden tool. It's a spade on a long staff with a temple bell shaped spade on one end and a crescent shaped blade on the other, known as Yueya Chan in Chinese. There's also the original variation of the monk spade with only the bell shaped spade, which is called the Fang Bian Chan, the simple convenient shovel. And of course, there's also a variation with just the crescent shaped blade, but not the bell shaped spade. The crescent shaped spade's blade can be either sharp or blunt. え、ガッテンっていう。こういうものなんですけどもね。これはですね。はい。もう敵の首このまま。そしたらもう首切れるってことですね。もう死にますね。あの、けど巻く切れるから。で、腕。あるいはこれで突く。あの、顔で引っ
using it in a duo due to its unwieldy weight. But don't worry, lighter versions are available today. Though you still need to be careful not to accidentally cut yourself with the blades on both sides. So there you have it, the fascinating history of the Shaolin Spade. Who knew a simple tool used for planting trees and burying the dead could be so versatile? And who knows what other secrets the ancient weapons of Zen hold? Stay tuned for our next episode to find out. And if you want to see more weapon-wielding monks, remember to hit that subscribe button and join our Zen army. See you next time.